You're watching the Auction Network. Welcome back to the 2008 Newcomb Jet Ski Auction in Wichita, Kansas. I'm Stephen Hill, and when it comes to Wichita water sports, there is no place like Cheney Lake. Yeah, it is a good, a good place for personal watercraft sports. I mean, it's wide open. You've got lots of people who are enjoy the sport as well, so you've got camaraderie to work with. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. We jet ski, uh, we pontoon out there, and hang out, grill out, and uh, go to Party Cove and put back a couple drinks. <laughs> Chini Lake, jet skis, and boats. <laughs> Uh, we're out of the lake every weekend. There's nothing else to do in Wichita. <laughs> you go to the lake. We paid a visit to the Nineska Sailing Association to find out why this 9,000 acre reservoir in the middle of a Kansas wheat field is so popular with jet skiers and sailors alike. My name is Andy Woodward. I'm the Commodore of the Nenisco Sailing Association at Lake Cheney in Wichita, Kansas. Cheney Reservoir is 9,000 plus acres backed up here in the middle of the wheat fields uh, on the Nenisco River. We have camping, fishing, uh, jet skiing, sailing, uh, family camping, just a num number of different things. Well, of course, the biggest highlight to me, being a sailor, is the wind. And of course, you can see today we don't have any wind, but uh, it's it's one of the great great places in, in the United States to sail because of the, of the wind. And of course, it's a great place for a jet ski because you have the waves from the wind that you can enjoy the crafts out here. But uh, now, day after day, I think our average wind is about 16 miles an hour and we're going out sailing when a lot of people and a lot of other lakes are going in. Jet skiers have evolved over the years uh, out here from you know being the per single personal watercraft where one person could use them at a time, everybody would be sitting on shore, you know, watching one person going out on his jet ski. Well, since then they've, they've evolved in, from a two-stroke engine to a four-stroke engine. And the, the exciting part of it is, it's become more of a family sport than an individual sport. And uh, so they've got, they get together to have special areas where they can camp out here and enjoy the, uh, the ambience of the lake. With all this talk about fun on the water, let's check out how jet skis geared for family fun are faring at the auction. Lot number 14, here's a 2005 C2 3D. Show them what that sucker will do, Bill. All right, what do you want to give me for? 2,000. Not 2,500. Oh, it's just great. It's just a lot of fun. It's a family thing for us. You know, we all go, everybody has a ski to ride, and we just have a good time with it. Three thousand, not thirty one, thirty one, thirty one, thirty one, they're out, thirty one. Okay, I hope. Did I have a sip of coffee? <laughs> yes, I did have a sip of coffee. 36. That's what you got. 36 on one, 37. Sell it to them for 36 on We have uh, two teenage kids, and uh, they'll probably be using it 99% of the time. So. A lot of parents aren't going to want their children on something that's fire breathing, so to speak, with, with humongous loads of horsepower. This gets them down to a level that, that you feel your 16-year-old can go out and, and maybe not do what others might do with more horsepower. What is your dad going to buy you? What are you going to buy Sean today, Chris? Well, the family, we just bought a jet ski, so. Number 12 is a 2003 Yamaha GT 1300R. A dandy one it is, 165 horsepower. 
Got two thousand. Now twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Now twenty five hundred. Three thousand dollars on a tree. In past years, we bought a fifth wheel here. Bought a boat here. Thirty five hundred dollars on an F4. Four thousand. Four thousand on one forty one. Four thousand on one forty one. So it's four thousand number ninety three. Seems to be a pretty good deal. Get some good deals here. Sea Dew was one of the is one of the more uh, popular brands. It's uh, I think been one of the top sellers in brands. Uh, it's a close struggle between Sea Dew and Yamaha. Kawasaki's about the distant third, I believe. Kawasaki, I might also add, that started this whole game quite a number of years ago. Well, here you're looking at something different. This is part of how the sport got started better than 30 years ago. This is a stand-up only situation. I guess you could kneel on it to, to learn how to use it, but it looks more like a surfboard with a motor, and that's exactly what it is. We're lucky to have one here today. We don't get many of these because the, the production is, is over with and, and, and they just aren't available but we're lucky to have one today, and I hope the, the buyer is certainly gonna be happy with it. You just bought that? I just bought that. I don't own one, never did, and my grandson says he probably could ride anything. We will find out. <laughs> I bought a Lollygagger on the Ding Fod that the heifer shaft stands up on, and the way it goes, I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, it's a surfboard with a motor on it. I have one grandson that claims that he can ride anything on the water that's got a motor on it, and drive anything down the road that's got a motor on it. I want to see him ride that motored surfboard. I would bet on him that he could, but it's going to be fun to watch him. Stay tuned for more from the Newcomb's Jet Ski Auction. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.